What's up, operators? This is Jet Desert Fox, and we're back here in the operator lair to give you guys another short tutorial as to how to spray paint your brand new airsoft helmet. Materials you'll need for this project: you're going to need flat dark earth spray paint, or just any of the the desired spray paint you want. Make sure it is the flat colors. All right. It specifically says on the packaging camouflage. All right. I cannot stress that enough. The flat colors. Flat colors. Flat colors. I'm going to put it in big, huge letters right here. Flat colors. Flat colors. Flat colors. All right. So you need flat colors. Then you're going to need some painter's tape to cover your Velcro or anything else you do not wish to get painted on your helmet. And depending on what type of pattern you want, today we're going to be doing a snakeskin type pattern. You're going to need some netting. All right now, you can purchase something like this. This is just a laundry bag from the dollar store. So you can go to the dollar store and pick this up. All right, first thing, we're going to put blue painter's tape on all the Velcro parts that we do not want painted. Now, this doesn't have to be pretty in any particular fashion, just so long as it covers the Velcro. So we got a little overlay right there. We're going to rip it off, and you can keep using that paint or that tape. <laughs> If you have bungees on your helmet, you can always just tuck the bungees under, like so. Or maybe connect them to something else. There you go. Just get those out of the way. If you really need to, you can always tape them down. We're just going to tape them down just for the sake of taping them down. There we go. Now they're not going to be in the way whatsoever. Alright, same thing with your straps. Tuck those in. Again, if you want to, you can tape them down using gratuitous amounts of excess tape. Because why not? There you go. Alright, so with all our pieces that we do not wish to be spray painted on are now taped out of the way. Now you can also, if you so choose, you can also tape your rails. I prefer to, to uh, let the spray paint hit the rails just a little bit just so that way they're they're not this shiny plastic color. You can see it kind of shining in the light. Now that we have taped up all the Velcro, we're going to put our first base coat on. Now for the base coat, we're going to be using the tan color to just match it or give it a better base coat than this plastic color. All right, make sure you shake the can up really well. Shake it, shake, shake it, shake it. Take your top off. This top. Alright, we're going to test the spray paint. Alright. Okay, now, now what you want to do is just, you don't want to get super duper close to the helmet. That's going to create these globs of spray paint. It's not going to look great. You want to make sure you're a pretty good distance away from the cam or away from the helmet and just lightly apply it. Okay, we're going to just a little bit further away from the camera. So we've got our base coat on now. All right, now there's a couple different ways you can drape the netting over the helmet. You can simply just throw it on the helmet and begin spray painting like so. Or you can actually put it inside like so. That'll give you a lot, the, the lines will be a lot cleaner if you do it this way. Also, if you do it this way, you can attach it to the bottom and then as you pull tighter, you can see that it gives you more of a diamond effect, kind of like snake skin, as opposed to just letting it letting it sit there. It's more of just the circles. So for this one, we're going to be pulling it pretty tight, so that way we get that cool snake skin effect. The next step in our helmet painting project will be to apply the green coat of paint. Now this green coat is going to be used in conjunction with the netting to give us that diamond effect. So we're going to take our netting and our green spray paint and hit the helmet. 
All right, we're gonna take our helmet and place it inside the net. Hopefully without peeling off the, the painter's tape protecting our Velcro. And yes, I could just cut it, but I really don't want to do that. Now that we're going to take this piece right here, and we're going to pull it tight, so that way these little, the little holes in the netting start to form diamonds. Okay, now, we're not going to be blasting the spray paint onto the helmet up close. Again, we're going to set far back, and we're not going to do a complete cover of the helmet. We're just going to do little areas, so that way it'll, it'll give you a more camouflage look as well. Right. Now, don't be afraid to mess up and do this a couple times. Not everyone gets it right the first time. All right, that's pretty good. I'm gonna take it out of the netting here. All right, as you can see, we've got that nice snake skin look. Now obviously since I was pulling it from the rear, the rear doesn't look as great, but again, you're mainly just trying to camouflage the front of the helmet. Plus, I can always go back and redo the rear of the helmet. Alright, at this point we can take the, the protective painter's tape off of our Velcro areas and give you kind of a better idea as to what the overall helmet is going to look like. Alright, now we're going to go set this out to dry and then we'll come back to it in a little bit. That's going to wrap up this small tutorial as to how to paint your brand new airsoft helmet. Let me know what you guys thought about the tutorial in the comments below. As always, this is Jet Desert Fox, and I'll see you on the field. But you're not going to see me because this helmet is badassly camouflaged. Badassly, that's not even a word. Whatever. Purchase a brand new helmet, just like this Lancer Tactical Airframe right here. It comes